We have not been doing any statistics in this video series, so you may look at the screen and say, why has he loaded R? Well, that's because R actually can help us when we are conducting an experiment. The reason it can help us is because it can select individuals randomly from a sampling frame, and it can also randomly assign members of our sample to a treatment and control condition. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I have created a fictitious college that I call Somewhere College. And so this college has students in it, as colleges are apt to do. And these students are either freshmen, sophomore, juniors, or seniors. And I have saved these students into an R data file that I have named students.rdata. So let me go ahead and load this so that we can look at that data. I'm going to go ahead and just view the data. So here you go. You see that I gave them each an ID number, but I just simply started with the number one and then just uh, kept going with the ID numbers. You can see their first name, their last name, and what class they're in. That's it. It's a very simple data file. But what we're trying to do with this data file first is I'm going to select a simple random sample. You'll recall that a simple random sample means that everyone has an equal chance of being selected. And so I'm going to sample. Guess what? R has a nice random sampling function and it's called sample. The parameters of the function are you tell it what you want to sample and I'm going to sample ID numbers. I'll show you why in a minute. You tell it what you want to sample and you tell are how large the sample needs to be. So in this case, I'm going to sample from students' IDs and I'm going to take a random sample of size 50. So here we go. Okay, so I now have 50 randomly chosen ID numbers from this college. Everyone had an equal chance of being selected, but I've only selected 50 of them. Now what I'm going to do with those ID numbers, and this is, this is getting a little bit complex, but you can, when you do sampling, you can use my script and adjust it to meet your needs and your data set. But basically what I'm doing, if you look at this next line, is that I'm now going to pick out the student's first name with that particular sample ID. So since I have 50 IDs, this is going to pick out the 50 first names associated with that ID. And then on the next line, pick out the 50 last names. And then on the next line, pick out the 50 class rankings, the freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. And so I'm in essence using the ID as a little element to indicate which name, first name I want, which last name I want, and which class I need. Once I've done that for all three of those, let me go ahead and do that. Then I can bind these all together into my sample and let's go ahead and look. And there you go. There is our sample of 50 students selected at random. And they were selected from the complete student's file. So if I were to look, for instance, I'm trying to find a, a, a relatively small ID number. Well, here's one, 127. If I look at this 127, that's Stephanie Wallace, a sophomore, if I go back to my original student's data set 
and look for number 127, you'll see it's Stephanie Wallace, a sophomore. Okay, so I now have a random sample of 50 students. In the next video, we're going to continue with this script, and I'm going to show you, once you have a random sample, how you can randomize to conditions. Now, remember that you can also randomize convenience samples. So you could use this same part of the script, just skipping the first part I just went through, if you had a convenience sample, and you could use the second part of this script to randomize your convenient sample into conditions. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and do something uh, as though we were able to both take a simple random sample and then we were able to randomize to conditions. And we'll do that in the next video.